Hi, this is Mia Theodoratis. I was your teacher at the Irish Art Center for your harp course. Or if you're perusing YouTube and are bored and have a harp, this is a beginner's lesson to play Brian Baru. And it's made for my students. But here is the most boring melody rendition of this song. Okay, now here are some hints to get it. This is all about putting four fingers on at the same time. And you wanna to listen to the sound of the first one, which is all about going to A. And this is gonna come back later in the song. So remember that the first figure is about the A and your fourth finger's on A, your thumb is high on the E, then there's three strings between the E and the the C, which is on the third finger, and then you have this little scale. And you want to take it on and off and memorize that shape and then play it. Think about the sounds it made, then put all four fingers on. For the repeated note at the end, I change fingers because it reduces, um, it reduces buzzing, and it's really easy to do on a lightly strung harp. I'm using my concert grand because it photographs better in my beautiful Bronx apartment. So that's, I, it's not a trad harp and I realize that. So here we go. And think the first part of Brian Baru is in pairs. And then think about the shape you did for the one that ended in A. And now your whole hand, you're going to take that shape and go down a step. So now your thumb's on D. You still have the third with the second on the B, third on A, and now your fourth is on G, and you do exactly the same pattern. And you want to think this particular variation in twos. So... Go ahead and practice that a bit and you can pause. And then after you've gotten used to that shape, do the whole first, I think it's like six measures. Always stop after those six measures because otherwise you might keep think of it all as in a loop so it's always best to stop and also one of the goals of such an easy piece is to really just let your hands after they're done playing the string to just make it do nothing nothing is so important in music so that's the first part. And the ending is the same for all three variations, which is really cool because if you're playing in a session, you can drop out for a variation if you don't know it or you get lost and come in for the ending. And it's all about now your fourth finger is still on A, but notice how the third is from the A to the C now and the little scale is on top. So it's the same thing, but going up. Try that a couple times and get used to the shape. And the whole ending, you have choices. For me, you can do that, or you could, for me, it's easier to do this. Place them all where they used to be, and then slam the E into the D. So, here's the whole thing again. Oh, and remember, this is the very square version. 
once you learn it, you can improvise on it and make it your own. Listen to the chieftains. Listen to um, lots of pipers do it because they, with such a simple melody, there's a lot of room. Mm -hmm. 